History says when you're posting sexual photos of your AKMs on Instagram on a consistent basis, then it may be time to check into a psych ward. Or at least that's what Google says. Okay, I kinda have a thing for the AK platform. So what? It's not like I have an addiction to spend all my mortgage money on it. I promise you it's not that bad. Unless you think sleeping with them and taking them out on dates from time to time is a bit deranged, then I guess I do have a problem. But hey, to each their own, right? If it ever gets any worse, promise me you'll tell me. Speaking of weird fetishes and sensational fantasies, I would like to talk about a topic that I feel doesn't get much recognition. Enter the AK underfolder. Meet the gun that'll most likely save your ass when Yogi Bear comes running down that trail trying to grab a bite to eat. Ironically, the same gun known to give you TMJ because the cheek weld is equivalent to an iron hammer smashing you right to the face. This underfolder in particular is a Romanian VPG in a battlefield styled finish from Atlantic Firearms. The deal here was to pick up one of the most proven and reliable parts kits from a country that isn't a stranger when it comes to consistency. Combine that with one of the best AK building companies in America and you get a Titan. Oh, and the biggest gain, to all my budget shoppers, you only get to come out of your pocket $700. Sadly, Atlantic Firearms are officially sold out of these bad boys, but I'm sure you can find them floating around somewhere on the web for an arm and a leg, so you better get your wallet ready. But nothing to see here, just a simple AKM chambered in 7.62 by 39 being put to the test to become my first official truck gun. Yeah, you heard right. After all, I am from Texas, and we all know the guys down here like to ride around yeehawing and whatnot, so it's only right I make it official. But before I try to beg every single one of my subscribers why your next purchase needs to be an AK underfolder as a truck gun because the T-Virus is officially upon us, and within months, we'll have walking corpse knocking on your door asking to borrow some sugar, let's go ahead and get the BS out of the way. The reality is, underfolders suck, and I can admit it. Let's face it, nobody likes an abusive relationship with a man and his partner in crime. Comfort plays a major role when positioning a rifle. I get it, but it depends on the situation, right? What if you don't have time to get comfortable and take the shot? Like, let's say when you least expect it, then what? Since we gotta prepare for the worst case scenarios, why not take advantage of the best resources around you? The key here is convenience. Manipulating a gun that can reduce its size drastically from about a foot could give you the best advantage in any condition. See where I'm going with this? Which brings me back to square one. Find me another gun with the same similarities as the AK underfolder. Go ahead, I'll wait. You can argue all you want about how a side folder may be a better option because of the cheek weld cushion, but remember, we're basically talking about when the SHTF situation happens. First, let's ignore the fact that we're comparing two types of AKMs. We all know what they bring to the table. A side folder is a good option, but have you thought about the longevity of the locking mechanisms? Just imagine running into a pack of infected flesh-eating squirrels. Okay, we all have imagination, so work with me here. Now you gotta deploy your AKM side folder from your vehicle and the locks bust. Next thing you know, you have a useless tail floating dumb like Magikarp and the only difference is that the side folder doesn't evolve into Gyarados. Now you're screwed. What's worse is that most folding stocks are polymer frames. Clearly the advantage goes to the underfolder. And don't even think about trying to argue the fact that you take an AK pistol over a full-size AKM any day of the week. We get it, concealment beats exposure every time, but you mean to tell me that there isn't a company that hasn't made a bag big enough to fit a full-size AKM? Which reminds me, I might be doing a little shopping around soon for a bigger EDC bag so I can fit this Romanian VPG in. If you guys have any suggestions, feel free to comment down in the comment section below. I do have some future plans for the way I want to set up the underfolder. I want to make sure that I have the right accessories attached to it since this will most likely be put through all weather conditions. But I also want to keep it basic enough to where I'm not adding too much weight just in case I'm stranded in the middle of nowhere and I have to be as minimal as possible. I think the best route will most likely be a light red dot setup on the gas tube. This might also be a good time if you guys would like to request any red dot or light combos that you would like to see in future videos. If so, drop a comment in the comment section as well. Right now, I currently have the underfolder zeroed in at 25 yards because, well, it's an AK and I'll most likely engage a subject within that range for my vehicle. This will also give me an opportunity to accidentally put holes in my engine so I can total out my car and get that Tesla I've always wanted. In conclusion, don't buy a charger. We can debate all day about why or why not AKM underfolders may be the best truck gun for the last job you'll ever take, but also understand that there are plenty of other gun options out there. Making adjustments according to your environment will also determine which route you'll need to make for your best option. For more questions about this particular topic, you can reach me on Instagram. I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this video up. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button if you would like to watch more content like this in the future. To get instant updates, hit that bell notification icon as well, and I'll see you guys in the next video.